Hi, my name is Dan Petrock, and this is a welcome video for statistics, uh, spring 2013. Uh, I'm your online instructor, and I want to just show you a picture of me. I'm right here in the back, and this is my family. Uh, this is my wife, Sarah. We've been married for 17 years, and um, this is my son, Gavin, who's in fifth grade, my daughter, Kaylin, in third grade, and my son, Jensen, who's in kindergarten. So I just want to give you a picture of myself and uh, introduce myself to you. Um, I've been teaching at DMAC. This is my ninth year. Um, this is my 19th year of teaching overall. And uh, before coming to DMAC, I was a, a high school teacher at Johnston and at Baxter. So, and I understand I have some students from Baxter this semester. So, um, kind of interesting to um, come full circle and uh, have some students uh, from the same school I started at. So, um, this class is uh, all high school students that are online. They are all uh, smaller high schools from central Iowa area. And I did teach this class last spring, and uh, the students did very well, so I'm, I'm really happy to get a chance to do that again this spring. Um, first thing I want to show you is how to even get into Blackboard, because you may be getting this YouTube link from your email. So um, I'm going to do that by going to the DMAC webpage. So I'm actually just going to go open up, and I'm going to go to dmac.edu. And right here in the upper right-hand corner, um, you have a webmail link and you have a login link, and that's pretty much the two you're going to need. Webmail is the same username and password as how to get in Blackboard. So I'll just click on that first because that's if you're going to use the DMAC email system, your username is usually your first initial, middle initial, last name. Sometimes there's a number with it, and you should get that information from your counselor. Your password by default, I think, is the last four digits of your student ID or your Social Security. Um, so I, they should send that information to you, but if you need to check your DMAC email, that's right there. And if you log in, hit this login button, and you go to My Online Learning, and then you go to Blackboard, this is, uh, you're going to be asked the same username and password to get in, uh, into this. And if we go to uh, the course, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. Our class right here is uh, 2013. It's CRNs 25071 and 27218, which is also on the syllabus. But So if I click on that, we get into the Blackboard course, and this is where we were. The first thing you see is the announcements, and I'm actually creating the first announcement right now with a, a link to this video, and you'll see that here. Um, I was in the Your Instructor area, and that's where you saw me, a uh, picture of me and a little bit about me. Uh, then there's the syllabus on the left side here, and here's the PDF of the syllabus, which I would suggest you uh, download and keep. And um, I would also encourage you to... I also have the course calendar here uh, separate. It's at the end of the syllabus, but I've got it all listed right here so you can kind of see what we're doing every week. And uh, every week we have an online office hour at 9 o'clock p.m. on Tuesdays, and that's the links are all right there. If you click on that, you'll go into this live session that has chat. Um, I'll be video and audio, and we can upload content, have an interactive whiteboard. And I do want everybody in the class to at least experience one of these early in the course, and it is for a grade. In fact, I'm trying to figure out a time that I could actually do this when you're at school. So I'm going to try to ask your counselors or teachers when you're actually working on the course at school, and I'll try to um, set up a few times early in the course to broadcast those, because I know sometimes two, uh, Tuesdays at 9 p.m. doesn't work for everybody. But I just want to let you know that those exist, and we can set these up anytime uh, if you want some additional help. Um, I have a lot of flexibility uh, in my schedule, so I can hopefully set it up when it's convenient for you. But uh, this kind of shows what we're doing every week, when the tests are, discussions, um, um, and all and all the online homework and everything so right there for you and you're gonna spend most of your time over here in the course content so I'm gonna click on course content and the obviously the first thing you want to do is the start here folder this details how to log into the online homework system which I'm gonna help you with next um, and there's a discussion board to introduce yourself to the class and then there's a syllabus quiz you need to take it which hopefully pushes you to get into the syllabus a little and and answer some questions, and, and I'm answering a many on this video as well. So, um, so that's kind of, and I'm gonna go back. Let's go back to the course content. If you look to the other folders, we have discussion board questions. We're gonna have um, a few of those that are gonna be due throughout the course, and that's where you can find those. I found it's just easier to point everybody to that same folder, uh, and you can kind of look at the schedule, and I'll I'll be notifying you of those. Um, and then each we chunk it into here's the three exams: chapters one through three, four through six, seven through nine. And then what we do here at the end is, is included with the final, which in every one of these folders, I've got some old, I've got some notes 
I've got tests from former sem uh, semesters. I got formula sheets, other videos. Um, so there's there's a lot of extra supplements in here, and I'll be uh, kind of referencing these and other resources that are on your um, online homework system for you to um, assist you with learning each one of these uh, you know these chunks of information here. So. Um, so that's where you're going to spend a lot of your time here on Blackboard. If I go to start here, there's, there's the very first thing is a link out to the uh, online homework system, which is found at this PearsonMyLabAndMastering.com. And then what you're going to need there is this course ID. This uh, so so that site knows uh, which class to enroll you in. You should have received a course or a, a code. Uh, it's called a My Math Lab code with your textbook. Um, and if you don't have your textbooks day one, that's okay because you can access it for 17 days for free. And I've got that all detailed right here. And there's actually another little YouTube video showing more specifically how to log into that. But I'm going to just quickly uh, click on that and it opens up a new tab. And if you've never used my math lab before, which I'm assuming you haven't, you're going to just come in here and register as a student. And the very first thing it's going to ask you is, hey, what's your course ID? Well, I, I already copied that, so I'm going to paste it that Petrock 288. Four, four, hit continue and it finds me right there there's the class you're going to be enrolled in um, that's where you're going to find your online homework lots of helps and other things um, and then you're going to want to create an account and you can use anything you want for that um, right there hit the create button and like I said you can get this for 17 days for free before you actually have to um, input an authentic code so hopefully that gets you going on that so if we come back to I'm sorry come back to the course here um, you know, introduce yourself, syllabus quiz, get into my math lab, start working in my math lab. Um, and that's kind of our first week um, activities we're going to do here. And you can uh, always check the calendar on that. So the other thing I want to show you is um, the uh, online office hour. If we ever need to get an office hour one-on-one, -on -one, I can send you a link The uh, um, like, I, like I did in the calendar. And remember, that's in the syllabus area here. Um, these links will get you the Tuesday nights, but if you need to set up another one with me, I can I can show you how to do that as well. Um, it is embedded in Blackboard, but I actually have access external to Blackboard too. So um, the the other thing I want to make sure you are aware of is that the exams are all proctored, which means you'll be taking them at your high school with someone there, and um, you're going to have to just make sure you have uh, you know give yourself at least two hours to work on it uh, with someone at your school and. You know, I'll be sending information out to your counselors about that. And uh, if you're taking, if you only have like, uh, let's say you're taking it at school and you have it in a 45 minute chunk or something, just make sure you have a, a couple days uh, that you can split the test up and take it amongst. And that that's that'll work fine. And it worked good last semester too. So you'll be taking uh, proctored exams. You'll be doing online homework. You'll be doing discussions, um, and you'll also be taking a final comprehensive final exam. Uh, so I would, um, I think it works out really well. Uh, the students, I actually can track how many hours you've worked in the system and if you're keeping track of your homework. Like for instance, uh, if I go to the uh, syllabus here and I go to our first deadline for homework is, uh, so we do right here, it says uh, complete chapter one online homework by two. So we're gonna have, the deadline for that is gonna be like the end of this week. So this is a Monday through a Sunday, Monday through a Sunday. So by Sunday the 20th, you have to have all of chapter one due. If you don't get all of chapter one done, uh, you can always, uh, every day you work on the problems you did not do, you lose 10% on those. So I mean, it's not like they go away, but you will, your grade will suffer if you don't get them done on time. And obviously you want to get them all done. Um, for instance, then chapter two is due the end of the next week. And then all these chapters are due the night before uh, the exam. Um, the deadline to take the exam, which is usually the deadline is a Friday to take the exam. But here, yeah, your deadline needs to be taken by, completed by Friday, February 1st. Um, so I hope that kind of helps how the weeks are going to go. Um, this first week starts on a Monday. Uh, we don't have any hard deadlines this first week. So really the hard, first hard deadline start the second week. And then every week after that, we're going to keep you moving through the course. Um, your school may or may not have a spring break. So that's something to be aware of. Um, so it might be a little um, extra time you might get in there to catch up. Um, we actually started signing some discussion boards uh, that are a little more involved at that point too. So, well, I hope this video has helped you. Um, I'm looking forward to 
working with you. If you ever need to contact me, it's right here. Uh, you, you can see it on the instructor. There's my phone number, and that does go right to my cell phone, so be somewhat conscientious about the times you call, you know, maybe between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. would be great because that auto-forwards to my cell phone. And then there's my email, dgpetrock at dmac.edu. So, and there's my posse in case you need a little motivation to work hard. You know, I can, you know, get mean, I guess, but I don't, I haven't in the past, but just thought it was a funny picture of my family when you're on vacation, uh, going to Yellowstone uh, two summers ago. So, so uh, welcome to the course. Please contact me if you have any questions and um, it should go very, very well. Uh, I'll be looking forward to talking to you hopefully weekly.